Teaching Kids About Money, Chapter 9.8 of the Kids Home Pay System. Step 8 Family Rules and Guidelines for Kids Home Pay and Allowances. To check that everyone is on the same page of how things work, it is a good idea to sit down as a family and create your family rules and guidelines for kids' home pay and allowances. Write them down and keep them somewhere where they're easy to refer to. Here are some ideas that you can use to start the family discussion. One might be, kids' home pay day is every Tuesday. So after dinner, have a family meeting to discuss invoices, payments, opportunities, etc. On the first kids' home pay day of the month, everyone also prepares their profit and loss statement, which will be discussed in the next chapter, and also their forecast. Another one might be that kids are gifted an allowance by mum and dad of, say, a dollar per week per year of age, and this is paid on kids' home pay day. Mum and dad also grant $5 a week for each child's education and money magnet accounts, so that's $10 per week in total. And this amount will convert to matching the child's contribution dollar for dollar once they turn 10 years of age. 10% of the kids' home pay earned must be deposited in each child's wealth account. And 10% of gifted allowance must be deposited into each child's education account. And the price of certain necessities, which is where you'll make a list of, will be paid for by parents. So if children want a higher priced product, they must save the difference in price before the purchase is made. Family Money Forum Agenda So given the busy lives families lead these days, the weekly kids' home pay meeting will no doubt be fairly brief. The best way to keep kids' money learning developing is to also schedule a meeting every few months where the family spends some extra time discussing how the kids' home pay system is working and what they could improve. So parents could also discuss one specific topic each time to help their kids develop their financial IQ. Parents as leaders of the family decide how formally they will manage the meetings. It would also be very empowering for the children to have them chair the meetings and perhaps lead a discussion topic. We suggest that you at least have a checklist of important topics to cover each time. So this is an example of agenda which you can download to give you some ideas of how you can run a more formal meeting. Remember, what you pay attention to and review regularly gets learnt for life. Money rules. One of the topics that we suggest discussing in the Family Money Forum are your money rules. And these are rules which your child sets for themselves and will apply to how they handle their money. They range from how you manage your money, so the money management rules, to how you invest your money, which are the investment rules. Another example might be how much interest they charge if they loan money to siblings or parents. Most people have a particular criteria for how they invest their money, such as whether they prefer to invest in shares or property, get advice or do it themselves, etc. But very few have rules for how they handle their money on a day-to-day -day basis. So before your child starts earning an income from their kids' home pay tasks, we suggest sitting down with them and getting them to come up with their own set of money management rules so that they know how to handle their money once it starts coming in. Make sure that you have them write their money management rules down and keep them so that you can refer to them at your kids' home pay meetings and discuss how well they are sticking to the rules that they set. Help them see the connection between keeping their rules and the financial results that they are achieving. So here is a list of ideas of some money management rules that they may wish to adopt. Create a money forecast for the following income period and stick to this forecast. On payday, review the forecast. Keep receipts for all items purchased and compare them to what they put in their forecast. Review bank statements every month. I pay myself first to ensure long-term financial success. Allocate certain amounts of money in the following areas to create a balance in life, which are for long-term investments, so that's your money magnet account, fun, giving, saving, everyday living expenses, and education. And this is explained fully in the magnet money system. And you can take a training in the Money Smarts Academy to learn the magnet money system for your children or yourself. Another money rule might be to always look for ways to buy the item cheaper if possible and also have credit card rules. So once they're old enough to have one obviously, 
use one in extreme emergencies, pay entire amount off after the interest-free period if possible, and when it's appropriate to use the credit card and for what items. Investment rules are a more advanced concept and we recommend introducing investment rules after the kids' home pay system has been used for approximately six months and your child's money management rules are being followed. So some examples of investment rules will, would include what type of investments to choose, rate of return that you consider worth the risk, when to seek advice from a professional, what percentage of your investments are in the different categories of risk. So as a parent, you might like to write your own investment rules out based on how you are currently investing. I found it an eye-opening experience when I did it myself. I then worked out how I could improve my financial results by improving my investment and money rules.